Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating this large wagon tray with pots to display your seasonal greenery and decor. Now this wagon tray can be made with Dollar Tree items and has so many options for the finishing touches. Also, you can make this a rolling or a stationary wagon too. Now for your convenience, I provided the list of supplies and tools I used to make this project in the description box below. Now I am so ready to just dive into this tutorial, but before we start, I wanted to say hey, hey, and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's just jump right into the project. Now for this project, we are gonna start with one of the 72 count packages of the tumbling blocks for the Dollar Tree. Now, if you wanna stain the blocks, I recommend that you do that now and to let them dry before assembling your wagon. So go ahead and open up all of your blocks. If you wanna keep it natural, that would be great too. Now go ahead and grab two of the straight edges and we'll need this to go ahead and align our blocks together nice and even as we assemble them. And how we're going to assemble these are in two block sets. So what we're gonna do is use our hot glue and I'm gonna be using this Wood Sticks Hot Glue by Surebonder. This is a lot stronger than regular hot glue and I highly recommend it. So go ahead and start to adhere two of the blocks together and we wanna adhere them end to end. Now each of the long sides of the wagon will have eight of these two block sets. So go ahead and get eight of them ready to go. So now we're gonna start to assemble the, one of the long sides of the wagon. So go ahead and grab one of your two block sets and then we're gonna grab one of the loose blocks. Go ahead and apply that loose blocks to that two piece set at the bottom forming an L shape. Then grab another one of the loose blocks and place it and hot glue it on the other side. Then we're gonna take another one of those blocks and we are gonna adhere it right between where the top and bottom block meet. And then we can just grab another one of those two piece sets and put it on the other end and this forms how our picket shape will look. So we're just gonna grab a couple more blocks, one at the bottom, one at that middle seam and another two block set. And we're gonna continue this until we use six of those two piece block sets. Now we should have two open ends and to apply our remaining two sets. So we are gonna apply these, but we're gonna sit these up on the side, not flat like we did before. And we're just gonna apply some of that hot glue to the end of our fencing and apply that last block on its side. And then we want to apply the other end of that fencing piece on its side as well. And now we have one of the long sections complete. So now what we want to do is create another one of those long sections the exact same way. So we're going to set those to the side and we're going to create the two end pieces. Now all we're going to do to make this is to have a two block set in the middle and two blocks on each side like shown here. And here is what one of the end pieces will look like. And we want to make another one so we have a set of two. So now what I wanna do is add some extra security to the block. So I'm gonna use some of these craft sticks from the Dollar Tree. They fit perfectly on the blocks where you can't see them from the good side. So just apply some of that hot glue to that craft stick and you wanna lay it across where it crosses two of the seams. And this is gonna add extra reinforcement to the inside of our wagon. So you want to apply these along the seams on the inside and make sure you use six craft sticks on the inside of each one of those rails as shown here. And you also wanna add two sticks to your side pieces as well. And once all of your pieces are applied, this should be nice and secure. And so now we can start building in our basket portion of our wagon. So I'm just gonna apply some hot glue to the end of the short piece and apply it right on the end of that side piece on each end of one of the long rails. 
Now once you repeat this on the other side, we should have three sides complete and adhere. And so now we all we have to do is place the other long side right on top. So go ahead and apply some hot glue to the four end pieces that are facing you and place that last rail right on top. We want to press it together firmly and now we have our completed wagon basket. Now you can apply some hot glue on the inside seams if you like for reinforcement. It's all up to you. So now I'm going to set that to the side and we're going to form the base. Now you can use three of these square signs from the Dollar Tree. These usually come out for every season and three of them fit perfectly for the bottom of the wagon. Now right now in stores they have the St. Patrick's Day squares that fit perfectly um, or you can use any season you may have on hand. Now I'm just going to use some leftover scrap wood and I have four pieces of one by two adhered together cut to the size of the bottom to use and I'm just repurposing these or you can use this squares if you like. Now to adhere these, I'm flipping the basket upside down where all of the ends are facing me. Now we're going to work quickly here, um, you're making sure your hot glue gun is on high temperature and we want to quickly apply a dab of glue to each one of those ends that will be applied to your bottom board. Now once it's all applied, quickly flip it over, make sure it's lined up with the base and press it firmly into place. And now our basket is adhered to the base. So now we're going to work on the handle for our wagon and I'm going to use some of these dowels from the Dollar Tree. These are thinner than the Walmart one so I'm going to use this size dowel for the handle and this size dowel which is a little larger than I got from Walmart for about 50 cents for the main handle. So I cut a little piece of the smaller Dollar Tree dowel out for that top handle as shown here. And then I'm going to use two additional jingle blocks at the bottom to sandwich the larger dowel in between to make sure it's held into place and it will also allow it to be functional. Now being functional is totally optional. You can hot glue these in place, but I wanted mine to move so I'll show you how. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some of that hot glue to the top and press that little handle pleat piece right on top. And then I'm going to lay out a piece of scrap wood and I'm going to lay down one of my Jenga blocks supported on the other end as well. And I'll have a little scrap piece of dowel just to level the other Jenga block right on top. So I'm going to be sandwiching this in between it. Place a little dab, just a tiniest dab of hot glue on one of those Jenga blocks. Press your dowel on top and then add another dab of hot glue and press and sandwich that dowel right in between there. You want to make sure it's nice and even and then I'm going to take one of these nails. This is just a little brad nail that I use to hang things on the wall. I think I got these from Dollar Tree in a little pack and you just want to carefully hammer it through the jingle block, through the dowel, out the other end. You do want to make sure that scrap wood is on the bottom so you don't nail into your work table. And here is it all sandwiched together. So now that that nail is through all three layers, you'll see that that handle is movable and you'll be able to use it as a functional piece. And then for the little piece that's sticking out, I'm just going to clip off with a wire clipper and put a little dab of hot glue on the end so it's not as sharp. So originally I planned to paint my wagon black, so I was either going to use this acrylic paint or this flat black spray paint. But of course, I'm always changing my mind through the process. So I said, I want a white wagon. So I, what I did is I decided to go ahead and prime it with some of this Zenser 123, which is a nice um, bold cover agent and it helps with uh, uh, covering up all the imperfections. So of course I changed my mind again and said, I want a wood grain. <laughs> so I'm going to use this Waverly Antique Wax to create my wood grain. So like I mentioned before in the beginning of this tutorial, please stain your pieces before you get started, just in case you change your mind like me. But this ended up turning out great. So you guys know I love working with this Waverly Antique Wax and all you have to do is apply a nice good coat and the bristles on the paintbrush actually create a beautiful wood texture. So I'm just gonna start with one side going on the inside and outside of all of the edges and pieces and then just complete the process covering the entire inner basket and bottom of the wagon and this actually looks really great. 
So you just wanna make sure you sit this to the side to completely dry. So while that dries, we're gonna paint our handle. So I'm gonna use some of this black acrylic paint and I'm gonna use my paintbrush. I want to make sure it is nice and covered with one to two really good coats. And then for the bottom, you can remove that spacer that you had in there and then paint the inside of those jingle blocks too. Some of this won't be shown, but it's good to be safe in the long run. Now, once it's all covered, go ahead and sit it to the side to completely dry. Now I also have this three piece bucket set that I got from the Dollar Tree and I want to have these a different color. So I'm gonna use these for the inside of my wagon. Now before I paint it the color, I am gonna prime it with white and this will only create a bonding layer for my final color. Now, now that they're primed and all ready to go, I'm gonna go in with this hammered metal look, Rust-Oleum spray paint to give them a nice metallic um, metal look. So while that dries, your basket should be good to go if you've allowed it to dry for a few hours. So I'm gonna flip it upside down and I am gonna be adding that handle on. So all I wanna do is take that jingle block portion and I am going to center it right on the bottom of my basket. Now once it's centered right on the bottom of the base there, we are gonna apply a couple dots of that wood glue, hot glue, to the bottom and center it, press it into place. Now it should bond fairly quickly, but once it just gets that original set, go ahead and apply a generous amount of that hot glue wood glue around the base and in between it. We won't be screwing this in, but the hot glue should work very well in keeping this nice and adhered to the bottom of your wagon. So now we're gonna set this to the side and work on our wheels. So for our wheels, I'm gonna use these little motorcycles that I got from the Dollar Tree in the toy section. So they're pretty easy to just snap off and I'm gonna snap off the wheels of both of these motorcycles. So now I'm just gonna determine where I want these and um, it, they're pretty easy to place. So I'm just gonna place them um, at the at the bottom of the wagon, near the front and near the bottom. And this looks like a good place for me. So once I get the placement, I'm just gonna take my little poker tool that I got from the Dollar Tree and just poke a little hole of where that wheel lines up, just kind of marking the placement. And then I'm gonna go in with my drill and I'm just gonna drill a small hole for some screws. Now you really don't need pilot holes since we'll use short screws, but I like to err on this era, uh, side of safety. And I'm gonna be using some of these three quarter inch wood screws to apply my wheels. So what I'm gonna do is place one of those wood screws in the middle of the wheel and just screw it in so it's nice and flush with the wheel. Then place the pointed end of the screw to your pilot hole and screw it all the way in. Now I am leaving it just a little bit slack so my wheels turn, but you can screw it all the way in place and make them stationary or you can hot glue these in place if you like. And then I'm gonna flip it over and repeat this for the other side. And now all four of our wheels are adhered to our wagon and they're rolling, they're looking great. Now to hide the screw, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this black acrylic paint, take a little small paintbrush and just dab it right on top of the screw head on each side. And here are our screws all covered and the wheels look great. So now you can go ahead and sit this to the side because our buckets are now done and look, I love this hammered finish on them. It looks really great. Now to fill these, I'm just gonna use some wildflowers that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna take them and fold them in half so they'll fit inside of the buckets. Now you certainly can cut them down to fit and maybe put some floral foam in there, but I always repurpose my flowers so I wanna keep that long stem just in case I have another project for them. So I'm just gonna take those folded stem flowers and stick them inside of the buckets. And now you can take your wagon and you can put your buckets of flowers right inside. They will fit perfectly. And now you're ready to display your piece. And here is the wagon all decked out with our pots and our wildflowers. I just think this turned out so adorable. 
Now I really love how everything fits perfectly inside and the metallic and wood colors look so great together. Now you can use any kind of filler or greenery that you like, or you can even remove the pots for your own decor. And as you can see, there is plenty of room inside to be super creative. And I loved adding this movable handle and these wheels. It really gives it a special touch that I love. And I love how the texture on the pots turned out. They really do look great. Now, what kind of finish would you choose and how would you choose to decorate this piece in your home? Let me know in the comments below. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, if you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and then click on the bell. It's absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.